much. Our next guest holds the record for the longest uninterrupted run in history, 262 miles. And this is his new memoir entitled Ultra Marathon Man. Please say hello to Dean Carnassus, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good to have you here. Where are you from, Dean? I'm from San Francisco. And how did this begin, your interest in a really, really, really long running? It started uh, when I was in kindergarten, actually. It started running home from uh, kindergarten. I felt sorry for my mom. We had a third child. So I said, Mom, you don't need to pick me up. I'll, uh, I'll start running. Wow. And so is, is there, some, is there something worse there. Is there something about you physiologically that uh, makes you a good runner? Or, I mean, are you a good machine for I'm, this I'm activity? not real bright. Is the, what <laughs> You know, I've, I've been told I've got good biomechanics, that my alignment is good. Uh, I don't pronate or supinate. Right. And I, I just believe in that. And what, what is your resting pulse? Uh, it's about 40. Well, that's remarkable, isn't it? That's pretty good, because I think the average resting pulse is like 70-something. I think it's, yeah. 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 And when, you, when you're at your maximum stress, what is your uh, pulse then? It goes up to 180, 185. Whoa, my. So that's extremely high as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's... On the high end, yeah, that's what I'm really pushing. Yeah, and, and so uh, when you're running uh, like 262 miles, what is your time per mile in an event like that? Is, is it pretty impressive or is you... It varies. Yeah. Uh, if I'm running up a hill, uh, it can be 18, 19 minute miles. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, last time I ran uh, 262 miles, the last mile I ran in uh, sub six minutes. It was flat and I, <laughs> oh my God. I wanted to get Wait to the finish line. I didn't Wait. want to get the thing over with. You, you had run 261 miles. And your last mile was under six minutes. Yeah, I saw the finish line. I thought, I'm over this, and so I sprinted. Wow. <laughs> and, and you've also run some, uh, in addition to the ultra marathons, you've run the traditional uh, marathon. I'm too slow to run a marathon. It's like a sprint. I'm too slow for that kind of stuff. R is that true? <laughs> so nice. I'm not real fast. I can just go for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and. and uh... <laughs> <laughs> When, when you're running uh, like 260, how, how, how long did it take you to run 262 miles? I ran for 75 hours. 75 hours. Right. And, and how, how many days is 75 hours? <laughs> I ran through uh, three nights without sleep, just ran. Without sleep. Yeah. Now, do you find yourself able to doze, like I mentioned, you, as you're running a little bit or not at all? Uh, that's a problem, yes. Yeah. I, I... <laughs> On this run, I woke up one time in the middle of the road, and I, I didn't really understand, you know, I couldn't understand what happened. Then uh, it happened again. I realized I was sleep running. I was falling asleep, and I just kept running. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and are there, are there other people who, who do this? I mean, I would guess it's a small group of folks who are interested in this. <laughs> well, you know, there, there are organized 100-mile uh, runs, and there's one that's 135 miles long, but uh, this... 200 mile run is a relay race, a 12 person relay race. It's not a single person race. Mm -hmm. And I just asked if I could do it by myself as, right. a, as one person. So, so you competed against other actual teams, but as your own team by yourself. Yeah. Wow. And, and how did you do with that? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to belittle the other teams, but I, I beat a couple of them. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well. What, what is it about this that you enjoy? The, the pain. I mean, I like pain. Right? Really? <laughs> and, and what about eating during a, a race 200 miles long? I usually carry a cell phone and a credit card, and uh, I stop along the way. And if I'm in a remote area, I'll, you know, I've ordered pizza before. I just haven't delivered to me. <laughs> They bring it to you out on the road. As you're out on the race route, they will yeah. bring you a pizza. You tell them where you're going to be in about the approximate time, and they'll uh -huh. deliver pizza. Yeah. And, <laughs> and is, is, is pizza good when you're running that distance? Is it, is it good for the body? Is it good fuel? Calories are good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pizza, cheesecake is especially good. Cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you get a hold of cheesecake when you're out running? I usually order dessert with the pizza. I see. <laughs> I see. Uh, what was the, the run through uh, Death Valley like? That must have been unbelievably grueling. The temperature yep. was 130 degrees it in the summer? got up to 130. Uh, at one point, my crew, I had a crew vehicle. They handed a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out the window. They kind of handed little crumbs out. And I took it, 
and I was trying to get enough moisture in my mouth to actually take a bite, and when I bit into it, it was toasted. And I thought, toasted. Who, why would they bring a toaster to yeah. Death Valley? And I realized it was, bread was toasting. It was that hot. Really? The, yeah. the ambient air was so warm, the bread actually the bread toasted? toasting, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, and and the, the asphalt, of course, melting at 130 degrees. Your shoes would melt if you weren't careful, right? You, well, you run on the white line, and mm -hmm. I learned that the hard way. My first pair of shoes, the soles melted off, and I replaced them and then mm -hmm. stayed on the white line. And it, w was that your most physically challenging uh, event so far? I think the 262-mile uh, was a little more challenging just mm -hmm. because that third night without sleep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a little psychotic. Yeah. Yeah. Two, you know, two nights without sleep. So yeah, and and, and the, the, the goal now, I guess, is three hundred to run three hundred continual continual miles. I'm going to try three hundred. Uh -huh. yeah. And and uh, are, are you questioning my intelligence? Well, no. <laughs> I think that was established earlier. <laughs> uh, but, but no, um, the, the three hundred miles is that? Ca are you capable of doing that? I, I will see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's part of the challenge. I, I think I can, but you never know. Yeah, and, and when you're running a 300 mile, I mean, where can you have a race that's 300 miles long? I mean, here in the city, they shut down the city for the day. <laughs> but a 300 mile event, you know, you can't close up shop for like four or five days while guys stumble around. I mean, where, <laughs> where, where do you go on a 300 mile run? Well, I'll use that same, uh, the relay, the Saturn relay. I'll use that 199 mile course. I'll just run 101 miles to the start of it by myself and then run the, the relay course. And it's all on the road in the Bay Area. So wait a minute, before the race begins, <laughs> you, you actually run, an, uh, how, how far do you run to get to the race? Uh, I run 101 miles to the start of the race. And then... <laughs> all right. Does your, does your family run at all? Uh, my kids run. Mm -hmm. My wife runs if I'm chasing her. <laughs> She's not a big runner. Uh, well, it's interesting. <laughs> and uh, good, good luck, and uh, we'll see you again. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Thank you very much. Dean Farron-Nassis. He's going to run now. There he goes. We'll be right back, everybody.